Alhamdulillah, all thanks be to God, the creator of everything, the master of all masters. We thank him for all the blessings that he bestowed on us and he continued to bestow on us and to make us a great country and a great nation and a great human. We thank him for everything that he have done to us and continue to do. And I have to thank every person participating in this successful event and ask God to reward them highly as the highest that he would reward anyone for such great intention and great reward and great action. I will start first by quoting a verse in the Quran, then a statement of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. God says, Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila li ta'arafu inna akramakum inda Allahi atqakum. O mankind, indeed we have created you from male and a female and have made you into nations and tribes that you may know one another, love one another, learn from one another. Indeed the most honored of you in the sight of God is the most righteous, indeed God is all-knowing and all-acquainted. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was asked by one of the companions, who is the best among us? He answered, the best to others. Yeah. Then Prophet Woo! Muhammad, peace be upon him, Woo! said to lay foundation that the prophets before him, starting with Adam, ending with him, Muhammad, peace be upon him, and all, peace be upon all the prophets, he said, O oh mankind, your Lord is one and your Father is one. You all descend from Adam and Adam was created from this earth. He is the most honored among you in the sight of God who is most upright. No Arab is superior to a non-Arab. No colored person to a white person or a white person to a colored person except by piety. We look at the messages of all the prophets before God, before Muhammad peace be upon him was the same message of love, the may, same message of equality. You find all the prophets in the Bible, in the Old Testament, in the New Testament where they say love for others what you love for yourself. You are not a believer until you love for others what you love for yourself. And that's what makes America great, not as what's claimed. That we love for others what we love our, for, our, for ourselves. We love for others to live with us and to live as we are living. We share their sorrow, we share their sadness as they are doing the same. We love for them to be safe as we love also for ourselves to be safe. But our president does not like that. And this is unchristian. And I'll tell you a story that happened. Very interesting story happened with a nurse at the hospital. And she's a convert about a year and a half ago. She's not wearing the head cover. So she, she's sitting at night shift. And one of the clerks said, you know what? It would be so nice if they take all these people out of this country. She said to her, what do you mean? Oh, we don't want anybody but American. She said to her, why are you having this hatred in you? Well, she asked her, what bothers you? You're American, you're a Christian. She said to her, no, I'm not, a, I'm not Christian, I'm a Muslim. So she looked at her, but you don't look like a Muslim. So she told her, and you don't look like a Christian either. took me back to a verse that's mentioned in the Bible and I wrote it because I like to quote everything let word to word, letter to letter because this is a great message for the president of America, go read the Bible, see what's in it, see what Christianity is, see what Jesus has taught all of us, the peace and love. This is his message. This is the message of Christianity, Mr. President. Jesus, peace be upon him, said, but I tell you, Love your enemies, bless those, bless those who curse you. Do good 
to those who hate you and pray for those who mistreat you and prosecute you. This is the words of Jesus. Does this have anything to do with the statement of the president of the country? No. What makes America great is this presence here. That support, that count to the clock. That's what makes America great. And America been great before you're coming to be a president, Mr. President. America been always great because America was built on equality. Our forefather laid the foundation of freedom of right of to speak up, to worship your Lord, to live safe. This is what makes America great again, not by building walls, by cutting refugees. That does not make America great. Your action will be reported in the history that you are the one who broke the foundation for this country. You are the one who made things unconstitutional. You want to do it your way, which is the wrong way, Mr. President. I advise you, sincerely from my heart, prepare for a day that you're going to stand in front of God in the day of judgment, where he will ask you why you mistreated those people, why you prevented the refugees who are in dire need of a safe place to live in. What's your answer to the Lord? Forget about me and forget about anybody else. Prepare the answer for God, where no one will save you but him. Prepare yourself for this day because we're all going to be standing before him. I ask God to keep America safe and America is always great before President and after he will go soon, God willing. Thank you so much.